All right, so how do you create a brand with funnels? Because there's been a myth going around in this funnel community that with funnels, you can't really have beautiful pages. There's like ugly funnels convert better. And then there's like click funnels pages are ugly. And then what the fuck is this? I think that's the biggest compliment when people say they see my funnels and they say, is that built on click funnels? And I'm like, yeah, like it's, it's a page builder. Like it's how you use the tool. It's a tool. So anyways, in this video I wanna share is how I take a brand new client and I redesign a existing funnel that they have, right? And they have multiple funnels and then how I create an ecosystem with consistent branding and congruency in their design and their overall branding. So we're gonna take a look at the first page. You might've seen glimpse, you know, pieces of this page on the, on the channel. I wanna kind of first scroll through this page so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll show you some of the upsell pages, the other offers that they have and, and the homepage, which we're now building out. But I wanna show you how to basically leverage some of the assets that you build once to create that congruency throughout, like on social media, on your upsells, your other offers. So maybe you have a book and an event, okay? So do you just like have them completely different or is it the same branding? And how do you separate the two and still have that professional branding. So the number one, a blueprint to grow your YouTube channel into a cash flow machine. Again, it's in the works. So we're building this for the client. That being said, if some of the copy isn't 100%, that's why, because we haven't like changed everything yet. But uh, you'll see that the branding throughout this is blue, greenish gradient, right? And so this is the sales page for their front end offer, the YouTube channel blueprint. Seven bucks is who is for. I know you're not good at camera. I'm all caught on camera, my camera gear sucks. So we walk through the different objection handling principles, just like I do with, with every funnel build that I go through. And then call to action, sneak peek, what you're gonna learn inside, and then the offer stack with some bonuses. Again, some of these things, I'm sure they're gonna change by the time they launch it. Meet the, the author, Scott, and then some images there, two comma club, speaking on stage, who it's for, FAQ, call to action. Right, but then we have the order form. So like, okay, here's everything you get. You fill it out, you buy it for $7. That's amazing, right? And then we say, wait, order in progress. If you want faster results, views, subscribers, leads, and revenue from your channel, then pay attention. That's what the entire design is saying. Like stop, don't re refresh or close down this page to avoid double charges. So for this one, you can see we have the same background, but the buttons change. You can see that we have a green now. Okay, so something is different. We got the mockups here, something is different. This is a bundle of some sort. So I now go ahead and I read through this. What is this? Join the inner circle, let's scale your business. So now we're talking, not this YouTube channel, but now we're talking video marketing, social media, like growing your brand using video, right? And then we have a thank you page. And by the way, we have other upsells as, as well, but I'm just showing you like the leverage method from the first assets that we build, right? So if I scroll down, you'll see sort of the same background with new mockups, okay? But then we take a look at another program that they have called the Dark Horse Accelerator Program. So now we change the background, we change the colors completely, but the style is the same. You can see the, the background is different, but we use sort of the same, like here, for example, we just have the red because it's like the Dark Horse Society, grow your business on, on YouTube, social media. And you know, it's more premium and so dark horse, it's a little bit darker as well. But overall, you can see that we still leverage the blocks from the upsell page, right? And now if I just show you the homepage in progress as well, you'll see that we have the same tone, the same hue, the same gradient layer, but then we have an image of Scott speaking on stage. And then, you know, our sponsors include, we go down to building the page using some of the background images, some of the gradients, but we mix it up so that people can tell if they just, yeah, let me buy this impulse by $7. Oh, here's a membership. Oh, I can actually get coaching. Awesome. This is different. Like there's a, another you know, color, sort of the contrast color. So we have the basic colors and then we have the feature colors, the contrast, and that's you know the button, that's the differentiator that says, hey, this is something new, let me check it out. So you don't have to be like super flashy and have like, wait, stop, don't refresh, buy this, it's a one-time special offer, it'll never be here again. You can have it super simple and, it, and it's just like, here's a special offer, if you wanna join, maybe you want this thing too. 
you know, a lot of people pick this one, but it's different and that's how you can leverage that. So I know short video, hopefully it's helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, all the good stuff. Also, if you want to learn how I build funnels, how I get clients, or maybe you have a business, you want to increase your conversions on your funnels, it's all available at designer.com. There's a discount code in the description with the link as well. And I'll see you in the next one.